We got these hubcaps here. These even come with bird shit. I bought a car. It's a piece of shit on four wheels. My wife hates the fucking car. It leaks oil from all of the fucking seals. The lady across the street is a cunt. She calls the town on me when I work on the fucking car. Welcome to my car show asshole. Okay, today is the first day of December. I know it's probably like spring already or maybe even summer now. But, you know, guys, I don't like working out in the cold. And today we get a beautiful day. It's got to be, I don't know, 60 degrees out here. So let's take care of a lot of loose ends that need to be tied up. I got wires, bare wires in the trunk. My brake wire is a bear. I don't even know how we didn't start a, a fire with that yet. We need an air cleaner. Um, I got a, a windshield in the back seat. The rear, there's a rear windshield in my back seat and parts back there. We'll clean that out. I got a heater box in the trunk. Let's just get, let's take a lot, care of a lot of odds and ends. That's what this like feels like one of these days, you know? Let's get started. That's it. This is my wife. This is my wife. She's vacuuming out the garbage cans. Yeah. Welcome to my nightmare. Hey! Watch this. Hey! I'll wait till she turns it off. Hey! What are you doing? What are you doing? What part of the whole thing you don't understand? What? What part of the whole thing you don't understand? What are you doing? Why? Because what are you vacuuming over there? Can, I, can you give me a straight answer? What's going on over there? Unbelievable. That's what I gotta deal with. She's vacuuming garbage cans. You're vacuuming garbage cans? Huh? You're vacuuming the garbage cans? <laughs> We got these hubcaps here. These even come with bird shit. Here we go. I don't know how they look. I don't know if I like the if I'd like the look of them on here. Nah. I don't think so. 
Not on the front. I don't mind, for some reason I don't mind them on the back. But not on the front. Jesus Christ, we got a bunch of parts here. Let's see. Shock absorber. Two shock absorbers. An air cleaner. I don't like that style air cleaner. Brake line. Var various parts for the front end, which kind of worries me that they're not attached. Instructions on the straight axle. I should probably read those and see if the guy did the right fucking job. A bunch of junk in here. Let's get it out of the car. Let's get it out of the car so we can admire the holes in our, in our back floors, huh? We got a bunch of trim here. I don't know what this trim what this trim is for. I don't know. Uh, do I ever see myself putting this trim on there? I don't know. This was really scary. When I first got the car, I, I, I see this water pump gasket. I said, oh no, what happened here? Or what's about to happen here? Or what needs to happen here? A rear windshield. I thought this was the front windshield. I was so psyched because our front windshield has a crack in it. But I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to have another rear windshield. I don't know, we'll, we'll have, we gotta put this somewhere. It's been collapsing my seat now for, for God knows how long. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. Oh my God, another, another scary item. This is a head gasket set, 1968. 289 why do we have a head gasket set why did this guy buy a head gasket set this is more than a head gasket set headset cylinder head intake manifold wow we need that exhaust cover valve cover don't tell me there's valve cover gaskets in here after we bought them Distributor water outlet, Jesus Christ. It's a nice set right there. So that's it. There we go, what do we have here? Oh, there goes, look, there goes our power line. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice seat that guaranteed isn't mounted to anything, because why, why would anything be right in this car? There's our floors. They don't look half bad in the back here. We'll have to put our seat back. They're not half bad, right? Oh boy. They don't seem too bad. They look horrible, but they're not that bad. This is not rust. This is like some red paint on here or something. I don't even know what you call that. Anyhow, seat's out. Might as well leave the seat out. Oh, look at this. Okay. That comes out. There's the back. Here's a fucking kick panel. Somebody tried to put a speaker in there. I'll never put that one back in again. This is how I should have did my shocks. I should have pulled the fucking seat out. Here's the wiring. The wiring right here going to the uh, the brake lights and whatnot. Now, what, what is this? What is this braided together with horsehair? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, there's a tag. There's a tag on the back there that lets you know you bought a piece of shit. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put that back. Kinda. Like that. The best. The best part of this car, as far as I'm concerned, is the ashtray in the back seat. Oh my God, imagine being in the back of this car doing like 55 down the road and smoking a cigarette. <laughs> and those are the kids. <laughs> 1962, baby, I'm in. There we go. We got a box of shit back here. Part of me wants to keep this heater box. 
a big part of me wants to just throw it out. I don't know what to do. I think we're gonna hang on to it. No, I, don't, I don't give a shit about heat, to be honest with you. All these parts, we gotta get out of here. Let's get this whole fucking box. I don't, I don't even know what this is. I'm never gonna use that shit. I'm not interested in none of this stuff. I don't want any of this. Let's just get it out of here. Oh, my glove box. And I just, I just ripped it to shreds. That's what's in this box. Here we go. These things, my visors. I thought I had visors. They're in bad shape. This is for the what? This isn't even for my car. I don't know what this is doing in here. This shit's not for my car. This isn't for my car. This is... I don't know what that is. Here's a bracket. Uh, more dashboard stuff that I don't need. This is all molding pieces. I don't need, I don't need any of this shit. I'm throwing it at The wire I'll keep, oh my God, look at this. I didn't even look in this box. We got our master cylinder, the single master cylinder. More shit. Here's the glove box. Where's the rear view mirror? Where does this go? This isn't for this car. Does it even work? Oh. Does this fit the rear view bolt into this car? Oh yes it will! Oh yes it will! Shit yeah! Shit yeah! The rear view mirror. We, we have a rear view mirror. That's awesome. What is this? Garbage. The rest we're throwing out. Let's get rid of it. Oh, shit. Guys, look at this rear view mirror. Look at how rusty it is. I love it. <laughs> This goes right here, sucker. Let's put it in. Woo! Just like that. How you doing, guys? <laughs> we got a rear view mirror. Yes, that was easy. Now, what we're gonna do, now that the car is somewhat drivable, I'm gonna take two adjustable wrenches and we're gonna go around and we're gonna tighten every single nut and bolt on this fucking car, okay? Because I got news for you, the cock sucker that sold me this car didn't care if I lived or I died. There was no transmission, There was the transmission wasn't even mounted and I found so many loose nuts and bolts in here, it is scary. And I know the onus is on me, is the guy that bought the car, it's buyer beware. I have to inspect the car before I drive it. But trust me, this guy knew what was going on. So, you know, fuck him. Fuck, you know, that's a, when you buy a car from somebody, especially the cocksuckers in New York, they don't care if you live or you die. So check out the car. The last thing you need is like a suspension part. I got news for you. These right here, I tighten these already. These leaf spring bolts, I could take off by hand. I could unscrew each nut on both sides by hand. And that's after I had already taken it for a couple of rides. There's only four bolts holding this whole front suspension in. Think about that when you're doing 60, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> One of those bolts comes out, you're, you're gone. You are gone. This thing rolls over and, and, and forget about it. They'll be shoveling you out of the car with a snow shovel. So that's it, let's tighten it up. And for everybody out there, go underneath your car, tighten shit up. I mean, you know, living is better than dying. So I've heard. 
Let's do it. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I guess today's just one of those days, you know. I threw the wife a bango. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't happen too often, so we'll take it. I mean, we have a little bit of snow here. I don't know if you can see. So, but that doesn't stop us from getting something done. So I figured maybe we can get more nice and relaxed, right? Let's get some little things done. I like doing little things now and again. So we have this uh, hose here. We got to get uh, the hose on the vent line here. Cause I mean, if we had a scenario, why is the camera doing that? You guys are snow blind? Um, um. So what we got here is we got this hose we got to connect. See, if this car rolled over right now, basically the gas tank would empty out inside the car. And then I'd catch fire and die. So we're trying to avoid that. So what we're going to do is we're going to run this hose in a loop and then down out of the bottom of the car. So if the car does flip over, it doesn't fill the car with gas. And then I die. Can we do it? Guys, listen, I don't want to bore you to death with these small jobs. So we just get them done. Here we go, we ran a hose, hose clamp there, around and down, through a grommet. Yes, a half-ass grommet with a big gap in it, but that's okay. And that hose leads out there. I don't know if you can see it. That's right, so now when we fill up the car, we have a bit of a, this works like a trap, right? Like an air trap. So we're not pouring gasoline into the car. When eventually we do roll over. All right, let's see what we got next. Next thing I'd like to do is get a fuse on this power cable. I bought this fuse here. It's a 125 amp fuse. I, I can't see us blowing this unless we start welding with the other side of this cable. So let's put this in line with this and at least we have a little bit of protection running up to the fuse box. Oh guys, this is fun. I never realized, you don't, you don't understand how much you can get done when you don't have to adjust the camera every five minutes. Look at this. We got that fuse in there. Everything's covered with dielectric grease. So, oh, I'm really happy about that one. Little, little insurance policy, right? Just, you know, we don't need the car going up in flames just yet. All right, on to the next project. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we have to get fittings for this transmission oil cooler. All right, right now we have the, the transmission. We're driving it around without an oil cooler, which is no bueno. So let's go down to the store. I don't know, I'm gonna have to buy a million of them and try to find the right one that fits. And spit all of myself in the process. We're back from the auto parts store and here are our three candidates right here. We'll try five sixteenths first. Too big. Quarter inch. Oh, close, close. Oh, shit. Too big. God, I got my fingers crossed. Last one. Oh! This is one eighth. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, just right. <laughs> Yes, and we picked up some 5 sixteenths, no, 3 eighths transmission hose to go over that. But we're going to install the transmission lines on, at, on a different day because that's a job where I got to get underneath this car. And I'm not getting underneath there right now. But that's a home run that we needed to get those. That was very important. Let me get them put in. So that is awesome. We went back to the parts store, got another one, another fitting. Yes, there's a lot of back and forth, guys. And is that not the nicest set of nipples you've ever seen in your life? 
Ah, oh, now we can move forward. We can plug hose onto there, run it down to hard line that runs to the transmission. And like I said, we'll do that again at a later date. Guys, small jobs, let's keep going. And the back, we cleaned out the back. Does that look clean to you? <laughs> yeah. We, re we mounted the seat back in, seats in. And like I said, the floors, I wanna do the floors. Maybe I'll start with the back floors because, you know, they're not as bad. <laughs> but we'll see. That's it. And the most important part is right here. The ashtray behind the seat. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit in the front seat, hang my arm over the arm the top of the seat with a cigarette and put it and use this ashtray that's what i'm talking about babies here we go that's it under the dash next that's where we head next all right guys i'm fucking tired man i worked all morning i worked from two o'clock in the morning till 11 and now it's almost three o'clock shot. We'll see you guys next time.